That'll be good to go. Am I facing north? Good morning, everyone. I'm about to rattle off all the numbers that we have no idea what they mean uh, over the next two minutes and then give you what you've all been waiting for, which is the change in cases from yesterday. There's been 655,600 million, 2,645 tests to date in Victoria, and I thank all Victorians for coming forward and getting a test. We urge you to come forward and get a test. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait one hour. Don't wait three days over the weekend to get it on Monday. You need to come forward and get a test as soon as you have a symptom. I thank all the Victorians for that. We've had 20,642, 475,200, doesn't even matter what the number is. You're not going to remember the number from yesterday to then subtract that off the number that I've given you today to work out how many cases we've actually had today. And then I'm going to pause for effect and then tell you that we've had a change of two, which is good news, before I get into the actual changes that are going to be made to restrictions. Firstly, I'd just like to berate the people who went to St Gilda Beach and didn't wear masks. That seems to happen all the time, so I'll just do that. Thank you. Tick. This virus is evil. This virus is a beast. I'm going to also mention something about the supercomputer thing, because I feel obliged to now. We're going to take these steps slowly and safely so we can open and stay open. That's what I say, right? I'm proud of all Victorians for staying the course. As of 11.59 Tuesday, changes to the five kilometre radius will take effect. Victorians can travel all over Victoria. Victoria is now open. Woohoo! It's a good day. It's a good day. And we can travel north into New South Wales. That's north. We can face north and travel north into New South Wales. As for South Australia, well, the cut-off area is South Australia because I still stand by it. Who would want to go there, right? Am I right? The supercomputer has drawn a graphic to put up on the screen where Victorians can and cannot go. There's a new radius. It, it, it's curved up, up into in terms of where you can go and where you can't go towards South Australia. And, and here's the map now. From 11.59 on Tuesday. And, and, and we'll give you a couple of days to get used to this new change because it is quite significant. Uh, members of Victoria, in all of Victoria, will be required to wear a, a device, a, a distancing device, uh, in which we keep our 1.5 metres away from, from each other, keeping that safe distance to our new COVID norm. Victorians will be required to wear this device at all times. Every waking hour of every day, we were just, we were just asked to use this device or you will be fined. And Professor Sutton is modelling this device uh, now, outside, so, uh, uh, Professor Sutton. What has my life become? We've done extensive research into this. Uh, the supercomputer spat this out and gave it the A-OK. -okay. So uh, this device will help us uh, uh, keep the virus at bay. Uh, now I'll be taking any questions. Uh, how will we get into our cars? I'll pass you over to Professor Sutton to uh, answer that question. And I've got to go. See ya.